Recent claims that unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, were flying through the skies of Ukraine have been officially debunked by the country's National Science Agency, which said that the report's methods and results had significant errors. Scientists at Kyiv's main astronomical observatory, MAO, released the report in the middle of September. It talked about a large number of objects whose nature is not clear, including several phantoms that looked completely black against the sky and seemed to fly through the air at up to 33,000 miles per hour, 53,000 kilometers per hour, about twice as fast as an intercontinental ballistic missile. The report's authors called this phantom objects UAP, which is the scientific community's preferred name for unidentified flying objects or UFOs. However, they didn't try to rule out more likely explanations, such as satellites, drones, or artillery used in the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, which started about half a year before the report came out. Now, the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, NASU, has finished looking into the UAP report and officially thrown it out because it wasn't done in a professional way and didn't follow scientific rules. In a statement, a group of scientists from NASU said, the processing and interpretation of results were done at an inappropriate scientific level, and there were significant errors in figuring out how far away the observed objects were. The team also said that the report did not meet the professional requirements for publishing the results of scientific research and asked that the NASU's name be taken off the document. Where are the flames? In their report, the MAO researchers looked at what one of two observatories near Kiev saw of strange, fast-moving objects. Based on how much background light each object seemed to block, the team was able to figure out its distance, size, and speed. They concluded that many of the mysterious objects were about the size of an airplane, but moved through the atmosphere at the speed of a spacecraft. But by only looking at data from a single telescope, the researchers seem to have made wrong predictions about the distances and locations of these objects, as well as their size and speed, according to work by A.V. Loeb, an astrophysicist at Harvard University who recently published a critical paper on the Ukraine UAP report to the preprint database. The right way to figure out how far something is away is to look at the same thing from different angles, Loeb told Live Science. They don't have that information, though. If the phantom objects were as big, fast, and high in the sky as the Ukrainian team said, then each one would produce a giant fireball, like a rocket or meteor does when it passes through the atmosphere, Loeb said. Loeb said that the fact that these objects were completely black doesn't prove that they were from another world, so much as it suggests that the astronomers badly miscalculated where the objects were. Bugs, aliens, or bombs? In his review of the UAP report, Loeb said that the Ukrainian researchers probably miscalculated the distances to the phantom objects by a factor of 10. If the phantoms were 10 times closer to the camera than the researchers said, then the objects suddenly fit the size and speed of artillery shells, which are often used in war zones like Ukraine. If you move the objects 10 times closer to the camera, they could be seen as bullets. If you move it closer, it could be insects, like a fly moving quickly near the telescope, making it look dark, Loeb said. NASU seems to have come to the same conclusion after looking into the UAP report. They said that the astronomers made significant errors in figuring out how far away the objects were and didn't rule out more obvious explanations for the sightings. In their statement, the NASU scientists said, the authors do not give evidence that natural phenomena or man-made objects from Earth could be among the observed UAPs. Even though it's not clear what the astronomers in Ukraine saw, it could have been artillery, bullets, bugs, or something else entirely. The effects of Russia's invasion of the country should not be overlooked. According to a report from the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, in 2021, it's likely that at least some UAP seen by American military personnel are technologies deployed by China, Russia, another nation, or a non-governmental entity. The ODNI report says that airborne clutter, 
like birds and balloons, atmospheric phenomena, like ice crystals, and classified government projects are some of the other things that could cause UAP. The report doesn't say that aliens could be a reason. But the U.S. government isn't ready to say for sure that this won't be seen in U.S. airspace. This year, the U.S. Congress gave the Department of Defense money to open a new office that will only deal with UFO reports from the U.S. military. If the truth is somewhere, the government might be able to find it.